Okay, <laughs> I'm a little out of breath because I tried to hold up like two thirds of the books and I don't know if it happened, but they all fell down, which is, you know, typical of taking that unhaul thumbnail. Uh, but yeah, so as you guys know, six months pregnant and I'm decluttering my house and obviously I wanted to go through my shelves. So this is round one of two unhauls. Um, these books today are all books which I have not read and have no intention of reading. Um, the second haul will be books I've read and want to get rid of. So today's books all have different reasons for the unhaul. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. Starting with books that I picked up and then put down and was like, no. Uh, so first up, Prozac Nation by Elizabeth Wurzel. So as you guys know, I like to read books that deal with mental health. However, lately I've been finding that <laughs> they're actually pretty triggering. So I think something I've learned about myself is that although I find it interesting to read about people who are neurodiverse like myself, it actually puts me in quite a bad place. So there are a few books that lately I've decided to stop reading, put down, or donate because um, I don't really want to put myself in a bad situation. So this is about being young and depressed in America and I'm gonna let it go. I've had it for years now thinking that I would read it, but it's just not the case. Like it's never a time when I'm like, I'm feeling so happy that I want to make myself sad. So I'm gonna let it go. Um, next two are in a series. So this is Kushiel's Dart and Kushiel's Chosen and they are chunky babies. Um, and the reason I'm letting them go is because I read like 600 pages of Kuchil's Dart and then I think we moved and I never finished, never finished it. Um, and every time I look at it on the shelf, I'm like, I should finish that. And it makes me feel bad. Um, and then, cause I have the second one, I feel doubly bad, but I remember nothing from the first one. So I would have to reread it again. And it's just something that to quote, Marie Kondo does not spark joy. It sparks anxiety because I'm like, you're so dumb. Why didn't you finish it at that time? Blah, blah, blah. But I've had this since Japan. So I've had it for over four years now. Uh, so it is definitely time to say goodbye. And if I ever do want to reread it again later, like I can just get it on Kindle. So it's okay. Uh, next up is She Would Be King by Y2 Moore. Uh, this one, I bought for four dollars at an op shop. I was like the cover is great, sounds great, and then I realized that I had already checked this out from the library the year before and DNF'd this book. So this was a <laughs> a previous DNF that I rebought because I didn't recognize the cover. Uh, so I just don't like the writing style and I don't like how the story flips back and forth. So yeah, that is gonna go. Um, the Bad Girl by Maria Vargas Llosa. So this author I've actually read and liked before. However, when I started reading this, I've started it a few times, but there's just something that rubs me the wrong way about a guy who's obsessed with a woman throughout time and views her as the bad girl. It just left like a really sour taste in my mouth. So um, yeah, I didn't really read it that much and I'm not gonna pick it up. I'm just gonna let it go and okay. Now we are to three books, which are all like pregnancy books. When you're pregnant, people just like give you all these books about pregnancy. And I only kept the one that I actually like, which is what to expect when you're expecting, which my sister-in-law lent me. And I'm getting rid of this one, which is Attack of the 50 Foot Hormones with the great like hair pulling, freak out, whatever. Ugh. If you don't know, I hate that. And I talked about it in my why I hate the mid-year freak out book tag. But anyway, this is like the worst cover of all time. And I also don't like the book. Same as this one. This is Up the Duff, which is the Australian version of what to expect when you're expecting. Um, and it's really outdated. So you can go. And then <laughs> Super Nanny, uh, How to Get the Best from Your Children by Joe Frost. Actually, guiltily, I used to watch Super Nanny, um, but the more that I've studied early childhood this whole year, like at school, and 
the uh, parenting methods and philosophies and like different ways of raising children that are used like in modern practices, I think Super Nanny is a little outdated and um, yeah, I don't really need this book. So those are all the books which I have like dipped my, dipped my toes into <laughs> and didn't like. Uh, the next ones are ones that I have never even flipped open the first page. Uh, and the top two are ones that I'm like my dream self. So this one is um, The Woman Destroyed by Simone de Beauvoir. Uh, so I have read parts of The Second Sex in University by de, Bo de Beauvoir, um, and it's very important. However, this is a series of short stories exploring uh, different women in their lives, and just nothing about that appeals to me. If it wasn't Simone de Beauvoir, I absolutely never would have picked this up because that is not at all what I like to read. So like every time I see this on the shelf, I'm like, mm, maybe I'm a fancy bitch. And then like, I never pick it up. And I'm planning to read Women in Translation for August. And this did not make the list. So I was like, okay, it's it can go. And that's also how I feel about Fire in the Blood by Irene Nemirovsky. Same kind of deal. It follows people in their lives in like daily drama in a small French village shortly after the war, I think. But again, like I don't really like to read just like family or relationship drama books. That's not my jam. And again, if this wasn't translated, so like I bought it because it was translated and I was like, oh, maybe I will like it. But again, I'm reading Women in Translation in August and this did not make the cut. So I would read this never. So it can go. Um, next are four books that are kind of more popular and I got them definitely because I was like, ooh, they've been hyped on Goodreads maybe, and Booktube. Maybe I'll like them. Um, yeah, and no part of me wants to read these. So this is again, Normal People by Sally Rooney. This is like a perfect uh, condition edition. Uh, yeah, I have no, no wish to read this. Um, none, zero. Same for High Fidelity by Nick Hornby. I've heard great things. Zero interest in it. Um, the Farm by Joanne Ramos. Now this one I was interested in because it's about a reproductive dystopian. However, I heard that it's quite bad actually after getting it. So don't really want to read a bad book. Um, and then Recursion by Blake Crouch, which I picked up because I heard great things about it uh, from people on booktube. And then I was like, actually, why did I do that? I don't want to read that. I don't want to read that ever. So uh, yeah, these four are going uh, because they're so popular and because so many people love them. I'm sure that people at my local op shop will snatch them right up. Um, and then we have a bunch of books that ugh, I don't know. I don't, they're not that popular. I haven't really heard of them and I have no interest to read them. So this is Awaken to the Buddha Within by Venerable Wu Ling, who is an American Buddhist nun. I don't know. This is a zine that I got from a random street library. No interest. Faithful by Alice Hoffman. Um, my aunt really loves Alice Hoffman, but I don't think she is my reading pairing, I guess. Like, I don't... The synopsis just does not sound at all like I would be interested. And then we have Accidental Feminists by Jane Caro. This is about like older feminists in Australia. And I got it because it sounded interesting and the cover was cool, but um, we've went through Women's History Month and we've gone through Australian August and I have not picked it up. So I don't think that time will come. Uh, and the last four books are just books that my husband said is fine for me to get rid of. So we have How to Be a Man. I don't know. Some of these are from his childhood. And I was like, are you ever going to reread this? And he's like, no. Was it good? No. So it's going. Um, HHH, which he got more recently, but I don't think he read it or wants to read it. Um, Hopscotch by Julio Cortazar. Um, 
no idea. And then the last one today is The Turn of the Screw by Henry James. So this was one of his classics that he said he's never going to reread. So it's going. So those are all the books that are going. It's a good little pile that I'm gonna, um, yeah, donate and or give to people if they want them. So that's the unhaul number one. And the second one, which will happen probably later, uh, is gonna be books I've read and that were on my shelves, but that I'm never gonna reread or didn't like that much. So I only keep books that are usually a three and a half or higher, um, but all like the threes and below can skedaddle. So I hope you enjoyed this unhaul. Um, yeah, and I will see you in another video soon, which I think is my August TBR. So I will see you then. Lots of love. Bye.